Hey everybody, today I am going to be doing some gel printing, also known as mono printing with a gel plate. And the ones I'm using today is the Dilutions gel printing plates from Ranger. And this set actually comes with three, and the sizes of those are three and a half by uh, five and a three quarters five and a half by 11 and three inches. So there's a little circle one, which is three inches. And I did a live stream uh, using these for the first time ever. I have been very intrigued with the gel printing for a couple years now, probably even three years. I don't even remember when, the, when I first saw this technique. But Jess over at A Card Day's Work, she got one for the first time recently and I have been loving what she is making. So I finally just got one, well actually three in this case, and decided to give it a try and I am obsessed. It is so much fun. The possibilities are endless with these. I am only showing you just a few little simple techniques that I'm doing, but if you search gel printing on YouTube, you can find some amazing work that people do with these. All right, before I go any further, if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. I really, truly appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've tried this, uh, what your favorite techniques are, and what your favorite medium is to use with the gel printing. And as always, all of the supplies are listed in the description box down below. Although all of the deco art paint that I'm using today, I got at Michael's and they were on sale. So uh, I don't know if I can link those anywhere online, but that's where I got the deco art paints. For the first print, I used the Deco Art Prussian Blue, the Impasto Paint in Manor Blue, and then just some white acrylic paint. I just put some on the gel plate and just kind of spread it around with my brayer here. And I got these on Amazon. They came uh, two in a pack, I believe for like $10. And so far, I really like them. I think for the price for two, you can't really go wrong. All right, so again, I spread that paint out with my brayer and then I used some printing paper or copy paper, just some really thin paper, and you can use all sorts of different types of paper, but I found that uh, using the printing paper was easiest because when you add a stencil like I'm going to do here, you can press in uh, really well in those uh, grooves and get all of that paint. Um, within the stencils. So I use the uh, smaller brayer and then I will also smooth over it with my hand and kind of make sure to get in all of those um, all of those areas that I want all of that paint. And I think I've done three or four or five prints already and I am not wasting any paint. And as you could see, they blend really nicely together. You can even use a uh, a palette knife to add the uh, acrylic paint on here. You can use inks, you can use sprays, all sorts of different things. It's, it's so much fun to do and I cannot wait to try even more techniques. All right, I am just trying to get up that last little bit of paint and I do have some uh, papers to the side where I am um, uh, rolling out that excess uh, paint on my brayer when I don't want the colors to mix together. And I will add a print to those later on as well. So you don't really waste any paint and you really use only a little bit of paint. You really want a really thin layer of paint. So here I added another layer of uh, acrylic paint and I should have let that sit a little bit longer because I would have been able to pick up uh, more of that dried on paint that's on that gel press um, and it's a really cool way to again use up all of that paint that is going to be on your gel press. I am taking this honeycomb stencil and pressing uh, in some copy paper and the holes are a little bit smaller so I am using my fingers and just kind of pressing it down to make sure that I get all of that uh, paint up on that paper. And I'm waiting just a second so that I can hopefully get some of that other paint that's dried up on the um, bottom or the, well, yeah, the bottom of the gel press, uh, the bottom layer of paint. And here I'm just kind of picking up that excess 
just kind of playing around. And that's another, uh, the dark one, the dark uh, print that I did. Um, and then I picked up all of that dried paint that I was hoping for to begin with. All right, so I am going to now put some white on here. And again, I don't really clean it unless I'm going to a different color family, but I'm pretty much sticking with the blues for, for now. I will switch to pinks and purples in a minute. Um, but right now I am taking that dark one, dark print again, and uh, I wanted to lighten it up just a bit. So I am adding some white circles on here. And this is my first time using the gel printing plates uh, besides the time that I did on the live stream. So this is like the first day that I'm using them. And I really enjoy them. And right now I'm actually watching uh, Jess over at A Card Day's work while I'm doing these prints and just kind of watching what she does and trying to pick up some new techniques. But I am really doing the, the basic uh, technique here and as you could see you can get some really cool texture and uh, prints from it all right so i am just gonna pick up all of that paint there you could see that cool texture and print that i got and again you can continue to add layers if you want if you don't like it and you can that one was a little bit lighter so i i'm pretty sure i go back in with a darker um print later uh, but I did clean it a little bit with a baby, a baby wipe. And then I am moving on to some pinks and purples. And that pink is uh, Dusty Rose. It's an impasto paint. And this one is from Deco Art. It is Frosted Plum. The one I'm pouring out right here. And the impasto paint is a uh, heavy body acrylic paint. The deco art one is a little bit more fluid. And then I even have the deco art premium paints in the tubes as well. And those are even more fluid. So you can use all sorts of different consistencies of paints. It doesn't really matter. Um, and again, you don't really need a lot at all. And as you could see on the gel plate, it just, uh, blends really nicely together. All right, so I did this on my live stream and I'm taking some drywall tape and I am going to use it to add some texture to the, um, the paint here. And so I'm just gonna cut some strips and lay them down. And this is an easy way to do, um, to add texture. And you can use stamps, you can use bubble wrap, you can use all sorts of different things. It's really fun trying to figure out different ways to add texture and uh, different designs to these prints. And like I said, you can really use anything. So at first I was just going to lay down the texture or the drywall tape and then take it off and then get a print that way. But then I decided to use it more as a stencil. So I am just taking that print like that and then I will add another print to that one um, later on. But then I take the drywall tape off and then I'm going to add another stencil and I'm just using a circle stencil. Uh, and then you get all of that tiny like uh, grid like texture inside those circles and it's really neat how um, you can layer the different textures on top of each other and the different paints and the designs and stuff and you see here and that piece of paper is one that i just rolled the excess uh, paint off of when i was doing the blue and i think those colors actually don't look that bad together the pink and the blue colors um, just for you know maybe like a collage type of art journal page or something uh, later on all right so i'm just rolling the excess paint that's on my brayer just kind of getting a little bit uh, a few uh, backgrounds done and then i can layer uh, more uh, prints on top of those later on and there's another one and that was a stenciled uh, bracket background that I did and then I just added the pink on top of that and then again like I said you can continue to add color and different prints on top of um, each other so I was being a little bit adventurous and trying a different color combination I didn't end up liking it I like the green and the pink together but the purple just was a little too vibrant for those other two colors so I didn't really 
uh, use it for anything else. I think I'll use the green and the pink uh, sometime in the future, but that purple, I need to get a, a more pale purple, I think. Uh, and then uh, I think it'll look really cool. The colors I am using is Deco Art Wild Orchid. That's the purple color that I ended up not liking for this color combination. And also Boudoir Pink, and that is from Prima and also mint, and that one is from Prima as well. So as you could see, I'm trying to blend it out, and then I realized that that purple was just a little bit too vibrant for me. And I do have extra papers that I, um, I roll out the excess paint. You can also use another gel plate and roll the excess paint on there, and then kind of get double uh, the prints uh, I didn't do that this time. I just wanted to work on the one uh, gel plate uh, for this video, but that's definitely an option as well. So you can get twice as many uh, prints. I liked rolling the excess paint on other papers so that I had like a layer of uh, background paint and then I could just kind of print on top of those, if that makes sense. Uh, and then I had, again, I still had a lot of uh, purple left over on my brayer. So I just spread it out on that gel plate and I added that uh, circle stencil and adding another paper. And again, I'm just using the printing paper. It's nice and thin to get in all of those uh, areas in the stencils. So I am going to lift that up and then get another print out of that. And I am just so amazed at how many things that you can do. So as you can see here, I added that to part of that color combination that I didn't care for too much. And I'm just showing you that that's what came off of that one. Uh, I think my camera had died at that point and then, um, but anyways, I uh, am gonna get another print. You're gonna see in just a second. And at this point, I am kind of just adding uh, layers on top of other prints that I had already done, those last few. Um, and then uh, that one, I'm going to add a thin layer. This is almost like a very pale purple. Um, I think it was purple, a little bit of purple on the brayer, and then I added white on top, and you get a very subtle um, uh color there and then I have that polka dot in the back. All right, so I have some of that pale purple left on my brayer and then I'm adding some aubergine which is another impasto paint and it's a heavy body paint uh, so it's really thick so you definitely don't need a lot of that and uh, then I'm going to take a stencil this is like a honeycomb and then I am going to add that on top of those other two prints that I did You'll see in just a second what I'm talking about and I'm uh, just pressing it in making sure that I'm getting all of those um, areas from that uh, stencil so that I get all of that paint and there you go so that's another print on top of it and I'm just going to continue just to kind of play around and I uh, highly recommend doing this. It was really relaxing to me just to kind of have some stress-free creative time. And I also get a ton of backgrounds for cards, art journaling, uh, die cutting, all sorts of different things in the process. And it was really, like I said, it was just relaxing to me. So uh, I highly recommend getting a gel press or is it a gel, gel printing plate? gel printing plate. Uh, and you don't have to get this brand. I think there is several other brands. Uh, this is just the one that I got. I liked that there was three in a pack so I can kind of play around uh, with different sizes of papers and I really like the little circle. I think I'm going to get a larger circle one. Uh, I know I've seen it uh, somewhere. I don't re remember exactly what company it's from, but um, they're a lot of fun. So I am definitely going to be playing around with inks and sprays and other things uh, in the near future. So be sure to look for that video as well. I am just going to finish up a few more prints. And that is, I believe that same purple color, which was Wild Orchid from Deco Art. And then I added a little bit of this violet color from Deco Art. It's one of their premium 
uh, acrylic paints and I really like that color it's really pretty and then I added that uh, added the stencil pattern to a lighter print that I did earlier and I am uh, using the excess paint on my brayer to cover up a different print that I had done earlier that I didn't really care for um, in just a second here you'll see I'm going to roll that excess purple color and I'm not really worried that there is like a little blue um, pink and whatever other colors on here I think it adds to uh, the messiness of it and as you know I am a messy crafter and I love all of the different textures and the mixed media look of things so that is going to complete this video I hope it was helpful in some way if you could uh, give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it also if you are new to my channel I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you are notified every time I upload and I live stream every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time and again, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.